Allahu Akbar. Welcome to our audience that is viewing from home during this lockdown. Um, my name is Kashmir Meriam and this is my sister Aisha. Aisha, would you like to introduce yourself and what we do as the Strangers Organization? Yes. Assalamu alaikum. Bismillah wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. My name is Aisha and I am part of an organization called The Strangers and our goal is to revive the message of Islam and we do this through uh, different different means. One of the means is through spoken word poetry, through the collective voice of Muslim poets around the world um, and just being able to clear up misconceptions. So that's our main goal. Um, yes, cash. Yeah, excellent. Jazakallah khair. Uh, so the work that we do as the strangers is we host a lot of uh, poetry slams. A lot of the time they're, um, you know, in person. And so we have our poets go up on stage. They compete for trophies um, and prizes. And we just have a good time. It's basically to platform the Muslim voice so that we can portray the true message of Islam through the art of spoken word poetry. Um, so it's a creative yes. art, it's something that is uh, powerful and empowering. Um, and that's what we wanted to do for you today. So we have a great show lined up for you all. Um, we hope that you enjoy watching. Um, and I just wanted to clarify a few things that are a little bit different about uh, slam poetry uh, versus written poetry or any other type of poetry, Shakespeare, whatever, you, whatever type of poetry you are into. Um, so the difference between slam poetry is that it is um, about the content of the poem, so how deep is the lyrical content, how um, how relevant is it to the audience, how how powerful is the 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 methods that are used to articulate what is being said in the poem, and second of all, um, the the powerful thing about slam poetry and probably one of the more important traits of slam poetry is that it is heavily about the way in which the message is revealed to the audience. So it's not just about reading from a sheet of paper, it's about how that message is delivered. Um, so that's something that we put a lot of emphasis on as The Strangers, and we do uh, with all of our poets as well. So inshallah, today you'll be hearing some slam poetry, and um, I hope that you enjoy the show and all of the poets that we have lined up. Uh, there are three simple rules that we have for the poets. That is number one, the content has to be um, appropriate, so no curse words. Um, uh, there, there is no inappropriate content, um, and our poets do understand that. The second rule is that uh, we have to make sure that the poem is under five minutes. Um, and number three is just to be respectful of everyone that is up there performing. Everyone is sharing something that is meaningful to them, and that's something very personal, and we have to respect that because that's very sanctified. Um, so, yeah, so without any further ado, I would like to introduce our judge for this evening. Her name is Tahani Salah. Is Tahani there? I'm here. As Assalamu alaikum, Tahani. How are you doing? Alhamdulillah, we're doing good. Perfect. So I have Tahani your bio here. I'm just going to read it. And um, hopefully that will explain to everyone your background in poetry. I personally, I know Tahani from before. Um, she's a slam poet. So she knows a thing or two, or more than a thing or two, about performance. And that's one of the reasons we chose to have her on our platform today. Um, and that's something that means a lot to us because I think to be a writer is one thing, but to be a performer is something, um, is something else. So, uh, Jazakallah her for joining us today. Thank so, you. Tahani Salah is an educator, poet, and activist based in Brooklyn, New York, with a bloodline to Palestine. She's a graduate of Columbia University, a former professor of curriculum development at the Cooney Graduate Center. She's also a member of the New York Slam team. She competed internationally and holds many slam titles from Europe to Africa. Tahani has also been featured on HBO's Death Poetry Jam. She is a passionate about peace and activism and carries that into the classroom as an educator, showing how life creates art and using it all as a tool of expression. As an artist dedicated to bringing light and solutions to communities where people's voices have been silenced, Tahani has performed at a number of world famous stages, including the Apollo Theatre in New York City, to universities in the US, South Africa, Germany, Canada, Palestine, Jordan, and many more. <laughs> Mashallah. Okay, so Tahani, you told me to pick one or two lines from your bio, but I felt like everyone needed to hear that. Um, so, welcome. Well, let's move on to our next performance, inshallah. 
we are having uh, who is available next? Um, I think we have Wasik for the Wasik for the Wasik. Salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How's everyone doing? Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We're doing good. Alhamdulillah, we're enjoying the show and we're happy that you could join us. Where are you calling in from? Uh, Houston, Texas. I'm repping it right now. <laughs> oh, I should have guessed from the shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, brother, tell us a little bit about yourself and you can just go straight into your poem after that, inshallah. Sure, sure. Uh, so, my name is Wasik Javid. Uh, my stage name, as you can see, is uh, Wise IQ. Uh, Alhamdulillah, I've been writing spoken word poetry for about five years now. Uh, literally, a year ago, I competed with the University of Houston poetry team at the College Union's Poetry Slam Invitational. Uh, which is the Cupsie tournament. It's the nation's largest poetry slam competition. Uh, so I had the honor to compete with the University of Houston and we placed uh, fourth fourth in, uh, on the final stage. Uh, so I'm based in Houston, Texas. I study political science at University of Houston. Uh, and, and this piece is titled Real Men. Uh, before I begin, I just wanted to shout out uh, young Muslims. I wanted to shout out all my friends, mentors who are tuning in uh, and my family in, in the living room who are who's watching right now. Uh, so I love everyone who's who's uh, who's with me here, uh, and I'm honored uh, and glad to be on this stage, and and glad that Ikna is is holding a poetry slam. You know, virtually even during this time, uh, people are still connected to the art. People are still connected uh, to these messages, uh, which are uh, a way for stay strong. So, uh, without further ado, I'll begin. The tears of a man are precious. I said the tears of a man are precious, but every time I say this, you think I'm a little lesser. You think I'm a little weaker for not having an ego, for battling my fights with words and a lingo? For my fists are a detriment to a soul. I will never lay hands on someone that I know, and if I don't, there's more of a reason not to blow us men. We have lost self-control. We prize our pride more than we prize our lives. So when I get hit with crisis, I can't even cry. When I see someone suffering, I can't even think twice. Us men, we have lost emotion. The art and ability of human connection. So when I sit with my lady, I give her attention. When I sit with my homie, I don't speak, I listen. When I see a group of kids, can we just act like some children? I'm not afraid to say, I love you to my brother. I'm not afraid to hug you or kiss you on the cheek. If that's how much I love you, why can't we say the things we want to say? Cause we think it's soft, right? It's not man like, real man wasik, real man fight, real man wasik. Real men don't play nice. Real men watch it. Real men stay on the ground. Real men watch it. Real men are loud. Real men watch it. Real men don't cry. Okay, watch it. Control yourself. Understand the situation. Analyze the body language. Look at his face. What does mom want? What does she really want? Where did you just come from? How's your relationship with them right now? Could you have acted differently? Could you have used a smile? Could you have said some encouraging words? Could you have just use a different tone? Could you have just been there in the moment? Do you not know their personality? Do you not know how they're gonna react if you say this? Or could have said this instead, real men wasik? Real men have patience. Real men wasik. Real men use wisdom. Real men wasik have confidence but will never let arrogance step above it. Real men wasik. Decipher emotion, know how to diffuse a situation, uplift someone's condition, empathize and understand someone's tension, say the right words for the right person at the right time. For the right words for the wrong person at the right time or the right words for the right or the right words for the wrong person at the right time, you've mastered it. When I raise my son, I will tell him it's okay to cry. When I raise my daughter, I will tell her to love only a man that does so too. Jazakallah khair. Jazakallah khair, brother. I have to say, yeah, from the comments, I'm gonna, Kashmir, Tahani, I'm sure you have 
a lot to say about that. Allahumma barik. Um, but you're definitely clearing up misconceptions about what it means to be a man. And uh, we really appreciate that. And you being able to share it in such a powerful way on, on this platform. Uh, Sister Kashmir, Sister Tahani, someone just said you're, they're blown away. Um, and yeah, see, yeah, go for it. <laughs> you guys. H Town in the house. <laughs> Houston represent. All day. <laughs> You guys got good brisket out there. Of course we do. Welcome to Texas. Come through. <laughs> Salam to the family. Salam to the family. Jazakallah. We'll do. Yeah, I just have to say, Brother Wasik, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, perfect. Um, I just want to say that it's very difficult for brothers to really tune in to the sensitive side, if you will. Right. Um, right. But you did that in a very, I don't know, I know it sounds like an oxymoron, but you did that in a very masculine way. And I think that real men, like you talk about in your poem, acknowledge that feeling, that sensitivity. And I think that that is what, what makes me always think about the Prophet Muhammad wasallam, and how his character really emulated that, that character that you talk about in your poem. So thank you so much. That touched my heart. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. brother. And um, definitely in the comments, leave your socials. I'm sure a lot of people will be in following your work and assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh wa alaikum assalamu alaikum take care so, uh, i want to thank everyone here i want to thank primarily uh, for hosting us on their platform every single year when we host this it's just an amazing success and i can say alhamdulillah from the bottom of my heart i think this was phenomenally successful so, jazakallah khair i want to say a special jazakallah khair to uh to Hani for doing this for doing the very very difficult job of judging it can never be okay. So much. And Allah reward you and um, mm-hmm. and uh, you know for taking the time out. You're also a mother, so you know it, I know it's difficult juggling uh, duties. So I reward you for that. And um, yeah, do you have any closing remarks, Aisha? Um, I just wanted to say that um, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. May Allah bless all of the viewers for attending. Um, I pray that we all benefited an event without our poets. Um, now saying that as well, um, I'm not sure if you can see me. Okay, you can see me now. Um, no further ado, uh, you can find the strangers on Instagram. Our website is in the works, inshallah. So please do uh, definitely follow up with more information about the Uyghur campaign, uh, which is a current campaign that we're doing. We hope you enjoyed the letter, the final compilation. Um, a lot of heart went into it from our poets and Thank you again to everyone. And of course, Assistant Tahani, you did an amazing job. Jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And Ikna. Of course, Ikna. <laughs> and lastly, I just want to say the greatest thank you to all of our poets for contributing their pieces. Each one was mind blowing and touched my heart. And I'm sincerely saying that as someone who's been to a lot of poetry slams and a lot of poetry over the years, as Tahani and as Aisha can both attest to, we had an amazing level of talent tonight. Um, so may Allah reward you all. And yeah, I'm going to close it right there. And assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.